Your head gigantic? So is mine. Took me forever to find a helmet that actually works. Let me show you what I uh, ended up picking. So I actually got to go for a ride today, which is not normal for January in Central Oregon. So I'm going to show you this clip while I talk to you about helmets. It's not that exciting because all the fun twisty roads in this spot are still frozen over, but uh, cruise up and down the highway a little bit. It's better than just watching the garage, watching the garage, watching the bike in the garage. I can English, I promise. So for comparison for whatever your uh, head situation is, no pun intended, when I say my head's gigantic, I mean like 99th percentile freaking gigantic. So a uh, former college football player, there was only one helmet that we had that would fit. Our equipment manager called me Buckethead. After college, I went to, uh, I had a week-long tryout with an arena football team, and I went down there, and the biggest helmet they had, I couldn't wear for more than about 15 seconds. It was just squeezing me to death. After that, I went to basic training when I was getting, for the Army, and when I was getting, uh, well, National Guard, sorry, I'm a nasty girl. Um, when I was getting all my gear, they didn't have a PC big enough. They actually had to cut little triangles out of the back of uh, the back of my PC for it to fit, which is kind of funny because the drill sergeant didn't notice until about three weeks in, and then he looked at it and goes, did you take a bite out of your fucking hat? So yeah, I got a dome on me. <laughs> so if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you're running into the same issue that I had where you're looking for a helmet for your gigantic head, and every single shop that you've gone to has nothing. And I mean nothing. There was a few shops that didn't even have a triple X. And I, I mean, I'm telling you, it was such a hassle for me. The one I found triple X's, most of them didn't fit. It got to the point where I wasn't even looking at the price tag. I didn't care. I'm like, okay, I need something that fits, anything. And uh, I ended up finding something, one that fit, kind of, but it was just wasn't very comfortable. And then I have the one I use now, which I love. It's great. And they're both actually not that expensive. These are the helmets that I actually ended up choosing. Um, one of them fits great, one of them fits kind of, but I really wish it fit better because I really like it. And one of them is a half helmet. So these helmets are all bell, and I, I didn't do that on purpose, actually. I, uh, like I said, I tried on hundreds of different helmets. I mean, every street helmet brand that the store had, I would go find, see if they had a triple X or larger. I tried a 4X and it didn't work either. And then try them on, and I'm telling you, for someone with a gigantic head, bells are the way to go. They're just the best ones I've found. So to address the uh, odd man out, this half helmet, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, I bought when I was drunk on Amazon and surprisingly it actually fits. <laughs> this is the Bell Recon, triple XL. It came with uh, little ear things, like ear covers that you could put um, like speakers and shit into, but my dog chewed them up. And I'm, to be honest with you, I don't really like half helmets that much. But the reason I bought it was because A, I was drunk, and B, I was thinking I could fit it in my saddlebag. Because like I'm saying, I, you know, if you watch my other video, you know, I have a Harley Road King. I don't have a touring pack or anything on it. But it'll fit in the saddlebag, and that way, if somebody ever wants to ride with me, I can give them my helmet, even though it'll be too big on them, but it's better than nothing, and I can wear the half helmet. So that's why I got that one. I mean, it's fine, it's a half helmet. So here's a question for y'all, just because I'm curious if I'm the only one this happens to. If you're riding with a half helmet, or I guess like no helmet, does it feel like you have trouble breathing? Because I mean, I don't know why, the first time I rode with that thing on, I, it, as soon as I got over like 45 miles an hour, and I even had like a face covering, it felt like the wind was just getting sucked out of my lungs. Like, I don't know what the deal was, I tried like, you know, just manning up, powering through it, and it just, it sucked, I hated it. So I'm not, uh, not a big fan of half helmets, but does that happen to anybody else or am I just a gigantic wuss? Let me know. You can probably tell by now I'm still a pretty new rider, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> so the first helmet I actually bought was this one here. It's the Bell SRT Modular Triple XL. And surprisingly, this one actually was not that hard to find. I went to, uh, I'll get that there. I'll tell you about that in a second. I went to uh, Pro Caliber Motorsports and Bend and this was the only triple X they had in stock and it fit okay while I was walking around the store. And then once I started riding with it, for whatever reason, it must be because, you know, with these modulars, you know, they pop up and they have to have this extra, extra room for the, you know, I don't know what you call it, the latch. But the cheeks, just, it was just this part right here. They squeezed my cheeks 
<laughs> squeezed my cheeks. They, uh, yeah, but they did. They squeezed my cheeks and uh, it just sucked. Like, it was super uncomfortable. When the visor was up, you know, going just putting around town, that wasn't that bad. But when it was down and locked, it was unbearable for after only about, you know, 20 minutes or so. So what I usually ended up doing was I would have it not quite latched all the way, which isn't, you know, super safe, but whatever. I'm not gonna lie. But this one I actually did have a wreck on. <laughs> uh, I mean, kind of. When I first started riding, I was riding with the KLR. Oh God, kicking shit. I was riding with the KLR and uh, I was going down a dirt road and I found some loose dirt. And it, I mean, I hit the deck quicker than I knew what happened. It's going about, I don't know, 25, 30 miles an hour. So you can see there was a little, I never really, I've landed on my side more than anything. So I have a little bit of scratches there from uh, from that. But after, I like from that crash, it was more of a side impact. So I probably shouldn't have kept riding with it, but I did. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? I broke my rib from that though, that sucked. But uh, so, actually side note, funny thing from all these helmets. They all have these little white scratches on the top. All of them that I have. There it is right there. This one, there it is right there. And that is because I am 6'7", and I come inside the house and forget I'm wearing a helmet and bash my head into the roof. My house isn't that tall. So now moving on to the helmet that is my current helmet that I absolutely love, which funny enough is a Bell SRT Triple X. But this one is not a modular. It is a full-faced helmet. Now it doesn't have the, doesn't, no, it doesn't lift up. But I feel like for that very reason, it doesn't, it doesn't have that latch, so it doesn't pinch my jaw. I'm not gonna say squeeze my cheeks again. I promise I won't. So, watch, let's put these upside down, see if we can really, if you can make a, look, these are the same helmet. This one's full face, this is a modular. Look, it's the modular, or the full face has just a little bit smaller cheek pads. I don't know if you can tell. It's just just enough that it doesn't it doesn't kill me while I'm riding. The only thing I wish this does did have though was uh like, you know the modular. You can wear the clear and then it has the drop down visor on the inside. This one came with a clear and the tinted visor. Which tinted visor looks awesome. I'm sorry, it just does. But the you know the the drop down is just a lot more convenient because you don't have to carry the clear one when if you're gonna be riding in the dark. But I mean, it's not that bad. Just I put the clear one back in the case or the bag that the helmet came in, throw it in the saddle bag, good to go. But yeah, man, if you're looking, got a giant head and you're looking, look for the Bell SRT full face. Try the modular too, it fit, but it just wasn't comfortable. Um, the full face, man, this is where it's at. This helmet, I'm gonna. You know, ride it until I crash again, I guess. Well, thanks for watching. If uh, this video is completely incoherent, you can thank beer and whiskey for that. <laughs> Wife's having a uh, Zoom girls night in the house. Thanks, Corona. So I'm out here in my cave, and uh, I'm done talking about helmets, so I'm going to keep drinking. Cheers, y'all.